for this example, I'm going to be using two databases. In the first one, I have the code of a customer, their sales, but I don't have its name. So I'm going to be looking for this code on this other database to bring up the name. Okay, so in this case, my other workbook has the information of customers, their code and their name. So what I want to do is to go back to my first workbook and I'm going to type the equal sign and I'm going to type the index formula. I'm going to open parenthesis and then it's asking me for an array. In this case, the array is where the information that I need is located. So in this example, what I need to bring is the customer name. So I'm going to select from cell A2 down to cell A12 and then I'm going to hit a comma and then I'm going to type in here the match formula. Okay, I'm going to open again a parenthesis and the first thing that I need to type for the match formula is the value that I want to look for. So in this case it's going to be cell A2. Okay, so I'm going to select it and then it's asking me where I need to look for this code. So I'm going to be selecting another array, but in this case, I'm going to look for the second column here from cell B2 down to cell B12, which has all the customer codes. So after that, it's asking me for a type match. So in this case, I want to type in here zero, which is an exact match. I don't want a similar customer code. I want the exact match and I'm going to close in my parentheses. And I'm going to be putting another parenthesis to close the index formula. And then I'm going to hit enter. So as you can see, now I have Elvis Presley <laughs> down in the customer name because it looked for this value on the customer's database. So if I want to do the same for all the other data, I just, I'm just going to copy and paste this on the other cells. Okay, so I'm going to click Ctrl C and then Ctrl V and there it goes. As you can see, all my customers are coming from this other database. So this is very useful in database in which you don't have all the information and you need to make a link to another database. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more videos and tutorials. Thanks again. See you next time.